What's up, my people? How are you guys doing? It's Faiza Possible, your African Village Girl. If you're new here, you're very much welcome. And for those who have always been here, thank you so much for supporting me. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you a typical day of an African Village vendor. Should I call it a vendor? Trader? <laughs> yes, how a typical market day looks like. Okay, guys. So I left home at around... 6 30 a.m in the morning and we are just out uh, trying to get a vehicle to take us to the marketplace now the marketplace is a few kilometers from here this very town that you're seeing is by the town but i'll be going to zeo market yeah that is where we are going to be doing our business now i deal in dresses i do sell dresses and that's what we are going to be selling so usually you leave very early go to the next town which is like 20 kilometers or so of uh, from by the town council it's like a two hours drive to there and you go sell for the whole day and then come back the transport fare is just five thousand that should be one and a half dollars yeah so one dollar and some few cents for going then you, you pay the same when you're coming back. So it's approximately two, uh, $3, yeah, $3. Of course, there are other traders. This one sells mandazas and he's selling them to some of the traders. We are setting off right there. We're just leaving by the town. Okay, this is called the Yellow City, where they sell the yellow banana, different types of bananas. There we are on top of the truck. So the truck literally has no, what should I call it, a cover. So in case it rains, it will definitely rain on you. If it shines, it will definitely shine on you. So this is Zombo District Headquarters, the one you just saw. This is Zale. Uh, Zale is a place next to Zeo, the market we're going to. So there was some offloading here. And there I am ready to make money today. <laughs> so we kind of took long here. We were just trying to offload uh, some of the luggage. In fact, that's what they were offloading, the cements, as you can see. Mm, there. I should say this has been one of the best experiences I've ever had, you know. Um, how I got here, you guys, you all know I completed my university education. And yeah, looking for jobs here and there, looking for where to work. I just decided to start, you know, doing some business and that's how I got here. So it's amazing. And yeah, this is part of the markets. We are just sloping. We are entering the market, the main market of sale. So there are some traders who had already reached the venue, as you can see. That's why you're seeing uh, people's products already displayed for sale. Uh, this is about 9 a.m. in the morning. But the day was a bit cloudy. That's why you're not seeing the sunshine, as you can see. Okay, here we are. So someone was offloading here as well. That is why we had to like stop for a bit. So 
guys are taking their produce to the market others are coming to sell others are coming to buy we are literally sloping down the main market so when you enter you find the charcoal section the thatching ropes uh the mat our local mat okay guys have already displayed their stuff on the market as you can see so we're just gonna go down there <laughs> and of course at the market you meet every you know type of people so uh yeah we're going down now they keep offloading as you're sloping because people have different points now i had to offload mine here as you can see because that is my point then others as well that is that is how we do it we don't have like one specific point yeah like now this is another batch of traders from paitha i didn't use this very truck this is another truck they're also offloading now these guys usually inconvenience me because they offload where i set up my place I have to wait until they're done offloading then i'm able to set up mine meanwhile i stand and watch others as they are setting up and that's me so we've set up and you have to keep making that noise yes you have to like yell loud <laughs> so that people are able to see the kind of uh, product you have and also the amount You also have to keep mentioning the price so that people are able to see if they fit within the price. For my case, the kids' clothes go for um, close to a dollar, yeah, and maybe half a dollar, thereabout. And the women's dresses ranges from uh, two dollars to five dollars, thereabout, yeah. We get to sit under the sun like that for the whole day. If it rains, you get to take cover, right? That is what happens. Uh, we do buy a stock from uh, Kampala, one of the capital cities of Uganda. And then we transport them up country and you're able to sell. So that is how everything looks and it's threatening to rain. Oh my God, it began drizzling. And yeah, I had to like pack my clothes. But it, they were just small drizzles, so I had no choice, as you can see. So people cover their uh, products the way you've seen and take cover. Yeah, that is us. Meanwhile, I have this amazing neighbor who makes uh, millet porridge. Of it, I'm a fan. So I just said, yo, <laughs> let me just tell these people how we make our porridge, our millet porridge. That is it. So she's able to sell like five to six <laughs> of this kind for the whole day. And she keeps putting them in that five liter jerry can and serving customers. These are other parts of the market. As you can see, we are almost done after the rain it shone again but me had already packed my stuff and it was already late i decided to leave yeah so this is me getting outside the market what we do we first pack um you first pack the luggage in the trucks then you leave for this particular day i was actually heading for a meeting somewhere and i had to use another you know another means of going but i sent my luggage with the truck this was about 4 p.m actually yeah quite early mm, because usually people leave uh they depart at around 6 p.m yeah guys this is the end of the vlog thank you for watching <laughs>